Hey everyone, welcome to the Electric Supercar Channel. This week we're going to finish up some electrical and then do some things with the shell. Let's get to it. All right, I'm going to start off with some electrical. So from last week, uh, these are the wires. I'm going to route them kind of to a more permanent location. Um, make sure that the uh, third tail light there is working. And I've also got the BMS unit um, that I ordered, the replacement, and we'll see if we can get that wired. From there, I'm looking at some body work. I want to get uh, some of the panels fastened. So we'll see how far we get. Okay, so I cleaned up some of the wires, had them go down here, and then I've got the taillight wires coming to the uh, rest of the bundle that I've got down here. The camera wire, I haven't quite done it yet, but that's going to go forward. So um, I did wire the trunk latch, so I'm going to go ahead and try that out. All right, so I've gone ahead and closed the trunk. I'm going to use the button that I wired, see if this will unlock it. All right, so I think that'll work. Okay, the camera, the wire, the video cable goes down here, kind of goes around, and I've actually fished it up kind of along this uh, the A pillar here and over there to the camera. So, kind of no cables. So that's what we've got there. So we'll go on to the BMS board. Okay, I got myself a new board. This is for the BMS that wasn't quite reading right. So I will swap it out. Um, something tells me that when I go to read things again, it'll maybe freak out that like it's lost the ID or something. But we'll, we'll go ahead and do it. Okay, so I replaced the BMS satellite unit, the board inside, and plugged it back in. And now, show cells, and we are good. So again, before it was uh, 61, 62, 63, 64. So those all look like they're in an okay range. So that's good, we'll keep moving. Okay, going back to the list here, what I wanna work on next is I wanna work on um, fastening the shell so that's kind of bolting from underneath and then also uh, the access panel joints. The access panel joints, basically I cut a seam here so I could take these panels on and off. So I kind of have this other one here that's just set in place. Um, I can fasten that panel to there, but then it's just kind of hanging it off in space. So it's kind of just hanging here. And I'd like to kind of create a little joint between this panel and that access panel um, for a couple reasons. I want to have a nice even seam. I think that'll help with that. And then um, also to give it some structure. So if somebody leans or steps on this that um, it's not just going to cave and crack and things. So I'm going to look at, uh, I think first I'll try and fasten the shell. So again underneath um, I'll probably do some rib nuts or something like that. And then I will look at uh, joining, joining the access panel. Okay, here we are under the car. Um, I've got this ratchet strap going all the way across to kind of pull in as much as possible the uh, outer shell. And so what I'll do is I'll just take this overhang here and kind of drill these rivets that you can kind of see just under there. Um, those are where the frame is. So again, I'll drill right here up into the frame and uh, use some fasteners because I anticipate I will be taking this on and off a couple times. All right, uh, got one side kind of done. So I got fastener, fastener, and then fastener, fastener. So again, this one shouldn't see um, a ton of force. I mean, we're not like standing on it. We're not cornering with it. It wraps, wraps around. It's got some uh, other support points. So this should be good. And it's uh, kind of, bolted directly to the frame. All right, so I'm having a little more difficulties on the driver's side. Um, 
it's just not centered. I mean, the passenger side gets sucked in more than this side. And so I'll probably put on the doors or something to kind of see which one's right. But I'm thinking that this one, the uh, floorboard kind of comes out past the frame. And I'm thinking that's what's preventing it from coming where it needs to be. So we'll look at that. Um, it might mean that I have to take the shell off again before I get things finalized. All right, I got the doors out just to make sure things uh, lined up as I was kind of getting the shell on. Um, so I don't have the hood quite set down all the way, but what I was really looking for is just kind of this down here to see if it needed to kind of scoot in more or come out more. Um, so this one looks kind of okay. I almost, it almost seems like I want to space her for this front part to go down a little bit. It's kind of almost close. Um, but let me show you the other side. So this side um, is kind of the opposite where that's like got a ton of space. And so this one's already uh, kind of fastened up as high as it'll go this way. Um, this part, this part needs to be sucked in that way, which is possible. Like I've got, I don't know, I just can't like push it in right now because it wants to just pop back out. So that one can go in a little bit. But man, this, uh, I'm gonna have a lot of body work to make this kit look decent. All right, I was hoping that I wouldn't have to get the shell off for a while, but uh, the more I'm looking at this, the more I've got uh, a couple fasten points that I need to create. So one is up here. Um, I think this may have been an artifact from splitting this, but uh, to join this part of the shell to over here, um, I really don't, I don't want to like go through to the outside body panel here. So I'm going to likely put a, maybe even like fiberglass in a metal piece that then I can kind of bolt to. Again, on the wheel well, I don't worry about too much, but I don't want to have anything on the outside. And then similar, all along here, I want to have some, call them fasten points. And uh, the more I'm looking at this, I'm just thinking it's going to be easiest to kind of make some metal things and just have them be, have the interior panel kind of be fastened to the shell. So I think what that means, the easiest way to have this happen is take the shell off. So I've got good access. Um, be able to fiberglass in some pieces and kind of get the exact shapes I want. Okay, so I wanted to take the shell off and the more complete I get it, the more challenging it is to take the shell on and off. So if you saw earlier, I got the trunk mounted and got the wires routed. Wires routed though means I can't take the trunk or I, yeah, I can't really take the trunk off or take the shell off without having a connection point there. So, because you guys aren't here to tell me not to, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, splice on a connector there. Okay, you see I got the soldering iron out. I was ready to kind of cut and splice, had a connector. Um, I've decided to kind of chicken out for now. I wanna get your guys' advice. Um, originally, I had planned to put it right under the uh, third tail light there. Um, I think for now, I'm just gonna fish that wire out and they will be able to take this off. Um, I could put it, you know, anywhere so I, I was thinking also potentially just kind of under here. Um, that way you can just fish the wire in and out of the shell, which is a lot easier than in and out of the wing. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think, but for now I'll just kind of fish the wire out of the wing and be able to take the shell off. All right, here at the shell, I've got uh, this panel kind of just roughly in place and uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do here kind of under this joint. All right, I marked some positions, one, two, three, four, and five. So I figure I'll do uh, five brackets that I'm bending. I'll do also do one here that's just straight. But uh, what I've done is I've got uh, some aluminum wire and that just it makes it really easy to form to the shape underneath um, rather than trying to guess at the shape. So that's kind of what shape two should look like, shape three, shape four, this one's shape five. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the best I can with bending. I don't have great tools, but uh, I'll make some, hopefully to these shapes. So here we are kind of under that joint and I've got some of this uh, thicker steel bent up. The thought is, is that uh, I'm gonna fiberglass it in place. So 
it's pretty rigid to this side and then this side can kind of hang on that. And so we'll see how that works. I'll make a couple more you know, at various points. quick upgrade. I switched out kind of the single bulb for one of these uh, LED four up bulbs. I don't know what you call them, but hopefully we'll get a little more light here. So I did it in kind of these these two bays here. I am getting much better light here in the evening. So good investment. Okay, so I've made my uh, bent up my metal shapes for all the various sections. Uh, the one thing I'm going to do is, um, again, when this gets fiberglassed in, it's just kind of a slot. So in theory, it can kind of like slip out or move. So I'm going to kind of weld on just some metal to kind of make the one side that I fiberglass in a T. So this is my uh, welding table and my bench vise. And I know it's pretty pathetic when you need to upgrade. But uh, this is what we got. Again, it took me a little bit to uh, figure out my weld settings. But uh, I think we kind of got it nailed in. And then uh, got all these welded up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in place. And uh, let, me, let me tell you what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna do a combination of epoxy and hot glue. The reason why is I've got everything kind of perfectly dialed in. I got all my brackets made and welded up and I'm gonna go ahead and put them in place. But what I need to do is I need to get them in place and then essentially flip this over. So I flip it over, these for sure are gonna kind of come off. Um, I'm hoping that those will stay in place. And if they stay in place, again, I kind of need them in that position to do the fiberglass. All right, before I put these on, um, just did a quick coat of paint. We'll let this dry up and then put them in place. All right, I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see, but uh, got these uh, put in place, kind of just uh, some quick epoxy that would set. And the thought is, when I am able to take this panel on and off. Again, this side's kind of securely mounted. There's even a bar going up here. So it's really just kind of this last edge where I route it out. That's the edge that's gonna be like not really super stable. And so the thought here is these will just help stabilize it. So I'm gonna go ahead, once this sets up, I will uh, fiberglass those in place. I got the little T, I don't know what you wanna call it, T on the back. So it shouldn't go anywhere. So we'll see how that turns out. But again, did it kind of on both sides. got a couple of layers of fiberglass kind of on all those so we'll let them uh, set up kind of trim up all the excess and then see if we can put it on the car and see how we did see if we can put the panels on if there's any fit issues which I'm sure there will be but yeah not too bad for these uh, side panels I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, black rubberized undercoating on those as well Okay, so uh, put the shell back on, 
uh, lower things. And now we're looking at the, uh, these panels here. And so the good thing is like, it seems to do what I want it to do. Meaning like I can like put all my body weight on there and it kind of doesn't really move. So I think that's a good thing. I feel like to be sure we should go for a drive, right? Hey guys, how's it going? You guys doing good? Nice. I did. Yeah. That's all the time we have for this week. See you next week.